as I always ask you, if you like this reading, uh, please like, subscribe, uh, leave a comment if that's what you'd like to do. And uh, I'm just going to start right now. I won't delay this anymore. I know this is a bit late. The first card you have you passed is the Eight of Pentacles. OK, so of course, this is the work card. You always have the work card. You're a worker. You're a hard worker. I see that all the time. Um, so the other thing I think is um, I'm seeing here is that um, I think there was someone who you were thinking about and you were thinking about this person a lot over and over again because often there's repetition in this card. You know, this man's kind of making the same coin over and over again. And you're really thinking about this person. I don't think you wanted to think about this person, um, but you were. I don't think they deserve to have you thinking about them, actually. Um, I'm getting not a good feeling around them. Um, I think part of you wanted to stop thinking about them. But the big thing I'm seeing here is you might not have realised this. Um, you did miss them, but it was more like you really missed the time that you had when you were with them. I think that was a very special time in your life. Um, and I think at that time when you were with them, uh, you really felt your best. It was just, um, you know, I think, you know, the feeling of, it really felt like, you know, when, um, you know, when it's the start of spring and summer, especially when you're back at school and, you know, that time was around and everything was lighter and you knew, you knew you'd be on holiday soon and everything just felt really different and brighter. It's that kind of feeling that you had at that time it was all kind of new and fun and fresh and it felt really fantastic. And um, I think you're really missing more of that time than you were of them even though you don't really realise it yet. It might be that and you're kind of missing all of that and you're linking them up with that time. Because I think if you took them out of that time of your life and put them into a horrible time in your life, you probably won't, wouldn't be interested in them. That's what I'm seeing. Um, you might disagree with me, but this is what I'm seeing here. So, um, you know, I think if you want to get back into the feeling of that time in your life, which was a very special time. Maybe try to get some of the other areas of your life feeling as good as you felt back then or even better than then. That'd be even better. You know, so maybe thinking about, think about some other things you could do to get your feelings back there again. You know, try and redirect your feelings away from thinking about them and think about how you can get your life back to this high feeling that you felt at that time like what else could you do to make yourself feel like that was it a place you're in you know was it a certain way you're feeling about yourself did you feel better about yourself and how you looked and felt and or were you doing something you loved at that time and then you've lost that can you work your way back to that just have a think about all of those things that's what i'm seeing there so the next card you have your past is the hierophant um yeah, there were definitely other people around you. I think you had other op love options around you. You had people who wanted to be with you and see you and everything in love. Um, but I don't think you were open to them. And you might not have realised that. It might have been in your subconscious. Um, you know, you're, you're a friendly person. You're open to people, I think, on the surface. But I think when it comes to new love, especially at this time, this is how you were. Um, your thoughts, your feelings were on this other person. You know, you're all on that and, and your time and that person and everything else. And, um, you know, you weren't sitting around crying. You're a busy person and um, you're an efficient person. You're good at your job. People look up to you for that and all other things as well. But you just were not opened in love at this time. Um, you know, if you look at this hierophant, his ears are covered. He's not listening to what's happening outside of him. He's focused on his inner world. And your inner world at this time, your focus and your thoughts were on this person. And anyone else who wanted to come along, you just weren't open to them. So, you know, if you're not ready for love, of course, that's absolutely fine. You don't ever have to be ready for love if you don't want to be. But um, I think you really need to try to get back to that feeling of that golden time that I'm seeing in the Eight of Pentacles. You know, I think when you're full of that feeling again, that fantastic feeling and you're feeling good about yourself and everything's fine and that's all happening internally, 
I think that's when the right person will come in and that's when you'll be ready for them. If that's what you want, if you do want a relationship, you might not. But um, whatever happens, I think you need to get out of the feeling of thinking about that person and get into the feeling of getting your life back on track of where you were at that time. I hope that all makes sense to you. So the last card you have your past is the Seven of Cups. So yeah, this card can be about um, unsurety, difficult decisions, being a bit confused. Um, I think this, you know, this is showing me that, um, yeah, I think this person you were focusing on, I think they probably had a lot of problems. I think they, they were focusing on the wrong things as well themselves a lot of the time when you were with them. Um, so I don't know, they had a lot of problems. I don't know whether they had an addiction problem or something. It might not be that. But they were focused on the wrong things and they were kind of overly focused on the wrong things. That's why I was getting addiction because it was like they were super focused on the wrong things. And um, yeah, I think you notice this pattern. I think as you got to know them when you were with them, I think you noticed a pattern um, that happened in the past. They might have left a whole lot of um, disastrous relationships behind them and they all had a kind of a similar pattern. And I don't think you realise that, but I think once you spent a lot of time with them and you got to know them and you heard a lot about their past, I think you realised, oh, they have a lot of disaster in their past. And it can't be every single person who was around them. It can't be that they had all these crazy axes or whatever. It had to have come from them at least some of the time because it can't be that every single person's crazy except for you so um i think that might have been part of the thing but the big thing i think at this time that you have to think about is their focus at this time was pretty much all about them you know they might have said things like oh you know you treat me so well or you've treated me better than anyone else has that I've ever been with and that sounds really lovely that makes you feel like oh wow you know I'm really special to them and they appreciate me and all of that but you've got to think about their focus is on how or they were their focus was on how you were treating them and that was their big focus but it wasn't on how they were treating you or what they were doing for you that's what I'm seeing in that card. And so that's what you've got to think about. If you're going to remember them, don't just remember all the lovely, nice things. Think about things like that as well, because there are a lot of things that weren't right. And while you're focused on all the good things and everything, um, you know, you're forgetting all these things. That's what I'm seeing. So, you know, it might sound like I'm bossing you and telling you not to focus on them. Um, I don't mean to do that because I know how hard it can be to stop thinking about someone no matter how they behaved. You know, I've been in this position myself. Hearts just don't switch off like a tap. You know, it takes time for that to happen. But again, if you focus on, if you, you know, you have to force yourself to do this. You have to practice. Um, if you practice directing your life toward the place you want to be, where you want to go, how you want to feel in your life. Um, you know, focus on that feeling of what you want to feel like. Um, you'll be a lot happier generally. And uh, then the focus will move away from them and onto where you want to be. That's the big thing I'm seeing in your whole past. So the first card you have your present is the uh, Three of Cups, which is fantastic. Um, I'm actually seeing a visit in this card and I'm seeing friends you know friends you might not have seen for a while actually especially one I think there's one friend um, who's coming from far away to visit you or to join you and some other people I think because I am seeing a group but then I'm seeing someone traveling a visit um, there's a kind of a blending of friendship and work I think and you do do that you do have friends from work and you have, um, you know, people who are friends and then you start working with them. So you do have a lot of that blending happening in your life. But I'm seeing a few people here. I'm seeing a group. Uh, you might be going out to dinner or lunch or something. And there's going to be some kind of business proposal or some kind of opportunity or something that's going to come out of this time, this dinner or this lunch. So, you know, you do have a lot of like minded friends. And, uh, you know, that might be how that comes out of that, if that makes sense. Um, I think there is some kind of partnership, some kind of contract, something like that. 
and um, you know it's going to come out of this um, time that you're spending with these people and I think it's going to be very positive and very lucrative as well and I think you're going to be surprised that this person asks you to do this it's going to be something quite different but um, you know I think you should absolutely say yes to this there's a lot of um, financial gain in it for you and a lot of things that you're going to learn that are going to be good for you um, you know, these women are celebrating a harvest, they're celebrating an abundance. So, yeah, financially, this is going to be really good for you. And also for friendships as well. Um, and you can trust whoever this is. I'm seeing them as a really, really reliable, trustworthy person. You're trustworthy as well, so it's going to be really good for both of you. Both for your friendship and for business as well. That's what I'm seeing now. So, yeah, the next card you have here present is, yeah, the Three of Swords. Yeah, so um, I think this is about something you've either heard or you might be about to hear this. You might not have heard this yet. This is about hearing some really horrible words, you know, words that hurt you. Um, and I think this is actually about words that are going to uh, sort of dismiss you or make you feel left out or something or that you're not important. It's something like that. Um, and I think this is about someone you really trusted. Uh, you might have drifted away from this person. Um, I don't think there was a big falling out or anything like that. Um, I think you left the door opened as well when they drifted away from you in case you wanted to revisit this or they did. But I think when you hear this thing from them, if you haven't already, uh, I think you'll be shutting the door actually um whoever this is is really they're saying something that's very thoughtless uh very horrible uh and ungrateful i'm getting ungrateful in this so i think you might have done a lot for this person and they're not um grateful of that um and um for the moment i don't know if this is forever but you're going to be shutting the door for the moment you might leave it opened in the future because I know you're a very uh, forgiving person. You really are. So, you know, we'll just see how that goes. For, but for the moment, you are shutting this door. Um, yeah, I know this is a really hard thing um, to hear if, if if this is resonating. But, uh, you know, try not to take what they say to heart as much. I know it's hard. I know it is. Because what they're saying... I think they haven't really thought about this. They've just kind of said things like blah, 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 and they haven't really thought. Um, they really should put more thought into what they're saying, absolutely. Um, but, you know, they didn't. And, um, you know, it's going to hurt. I can't pretend anything else is going to happen. But um, I'm not seeing maliciousness coming from them, just thoughtlessness. Um, I'm not making excuses for them, but that's how I'm seeing it, you know, coming from their perspective. So that might help you to feel a bit better as well. But um, yeah, there's no excuses. They really should be thinking, you know, they are an adult. They are. They're an adult. They should know how to treat people and, and how to be careful of what they say. Um, so the last card you have your presence, the Page of Swords. Yeah, again, this is more about this thing that you're hearing, this thing in the Three of Swords. Um, I think you might be seeing this online or hearing this online or something. Um, again, I think this is something that's being said without any kind of proper thought, you know, because the pages are teenagers and often, you know, teenagers don't think before they speak. They just don't have the maturity to see things from other people's perspectives a lot of the time. Um, and I think this person can be a bit spontaneous sometimes and yeah, a bit thoughtless and all of that. They also might be trying to big themselves up, if that makes sense. Because if you look at this page, he's up on a hill and um, he's bigger than the landscape around him. So he's bigging himself up. So maybe this is what they're doing. And while they're doing that, they're kind of putting you down or ignoring you or dismissing you in the process. It might be that. Um, but they should know better. They absolutely should know better, no matter what's happening, no matter what they're like. They should know better if I can see that. I don't want to make any excuses for this person. Um, I think they might eventually uh, call you or message you in the future. And it might feel to you as if, oh, they're acting as if nothing's happened. They're just, hi, how are you? Hey. They just don't realise how their words hurt and how uh, 
um, their words have consequences. So, you know, I think if this resonates with you and they do contact you in the future, be upfront about what's happened because, you know, I keep on getting this feeling that they don't realise and they need to realise, they need to know this, they do. They need to know how their words affect people. That's what I'm seeing. Um, so, yeah, the first card you have for your future is the uh, Page of Pentacles. So, I think this opportunity that I'm seeing in the Three of Cups, I think this is something that, yeah, this is what I was seeing there and I'm seeing this again. It's going to really stretch you. I'm seeing some sort of learning, having to start again, becoming a learner, whatever this is. It's going to feel a little bit uncomfortable for you in the beginning because I think in your normal work, in your usual work, you're more of a leader and you know exactly what you're doing and you don't really have to really worry about learning. Um, but with this, you're going to have to become more of a follower and a learner for a while. So it's not going to feel good for a while. But the rewards are going to be really good for you, I think. You're going to really stretch yourself. You're going to really open yourself up to new things that you wouldn't have thought of before. So, and also there's a lot of financial reward at the end of this because, um, you know, I'm seeing that again in this card. So when you're at this learning stage and it feels really uncomfortable for you, um, just think about what's at the end of this. Keep going. Don't let this stop you. Don't just go, oh, I'm feeling really horrible. I think I'm going to stop. Don't do this. You can do this. You can absolutely do this. It's going to be all worth it. And if you think about this person, this friend that asked you to do this, they wouldn't have asked you if they didn't think you were capable. So you definitely are capable and you can do this and you're going to get to the end of this awkward learning stage in this and you're going to realise it's it's really, really going to be worth it on a lot of different levels for you. Um, the next card you have your future is the Four of Pentacles. So, yeah, this is about having to let go, having to let go of this person in the Eight of Pentacles. It's not going to be easy. Um, and obviously, you know, the Eight of Pentacles, it's an eight card. So um, that's the infinity number. So it, you might feel like you'll feel like this forever. You'll never get over them. You'll always be thinking about them. But you will stop. You will stop thinking about them. You will get over that. It's just going to take some time. I think at this time, you might still be holding on to this feeling of, all of that time you had with them, you know, just like this man's holding onto this coin. Um, but what I was seeing in the Seven of Cups was that, this is what you've got to remember, their focus was all on them and all on what you could do for them and all on what other people could bring them, not on what they could bring to you or other people. You know, you had so much going for yourself at that time and you still do. But just about all your energy at that time was focused on them. Um, you know, if you look at this man again, he's wearing a crown, but there's a coin that's stuck on top of this crown. So they were focused on the coin and what you could bring them, not on the crown that's underneath the coin. They couldn't see your crown for the coin. That's what I'm seeing. Now, it's up to you now to be able to see your crown. You know it's there. You have a crown. And you need to have other people around you and bring them into your life who can see that crown as well. You don't want anyone that's just going to see the coin and not the crown. And you might have had a whole lot of people in your life in your past who could just see the coin, just see the money. They could just see what you could bring them, not just money, other things as well, but they couldn't see your crown. And I think that's a problem you've had through a lot of your life. I've seen this in your readings before. And I think that's what was happening with this one person. So, the last card you have for your future is death. Yes, this is showing me that, um, you know, it's, moving on from this person is going to be hard. I can see that everywhere. But uh, it's inevitable. It's inevitable. It's going to happen. And I'm glad it is. You might not be feeling glad it is. You might still be caught up in all these feelings about them. But I'm glad it is. I sound horrible, don't I? But I don't mean to be. It's the best thing for you. It's absolutely for the best. You know, there's a path on this card. It's right next to the horse's head and it's leading you to the sun. It's leading you to better things. 
It doesn't feel like that now, probably, um, but you're being led to better things. And it's going to happen whether you resist it or not. That's what this card's telling you as well. You know, there's a priest or a bishop or whatever on this card, and he's trying to bargain with death. He's trying to reason with it. He's saying, no, no, don't let me die. I've been a good person. I've done this and I've done that. And I've said all the Hail Marys and I've prayed and everything. It doesn't matter. When your time comes, it comes when it comes to death. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter if you're a king or a bishop or a queen or anything. Your time is your time. So this is your time. This is your time to move on from this person, move on to better things, and it's going to happen anyway. Um, if you're still trying to hold on to these old memories and things like that, you might not want to hear this, but it absolutely is for the best. And I'm sorry to bring you that bad news, but in time, when you look back, when you have totally gotten through this, gotten over this, you'll see it's actually good news. So Capricorn, I don't mean to be bossy, I'm sorry. Um, I hope this resonated, but uh, as you know, general readings can't always resonate with everyone. But again, if you liked this reading, please like, subscribe, or leave a comment if that's what you'd like to do. And thank you so, so much for watching.